Hey guys, you're watching Boogie Travels, and today we have traveled to Gatlinburg, Tennessee to scratch this one off my bucket list. Ripley's, believe it or not, Gatlinburg. Now, this place did basically get damaged by fire during the uh, Gatlinburg fires, so this place looks like it's been completely rebuilt. So let's go check it out. By the way, if you take a look, all the way up there to the top. Is that a guy playing the banjo? We are joined with Jacob the Carpetbagger. Hey, now, you've done a lot of Ripley's. I've done all the Ripley's in the United States. How does this one stack up? This is my favorite. This is of your the, favorite? The 18 in the United States, this is my favorite Ripley's. Well, let's go find out why. Yeah. Front here on the sidewalk, it's one of these giant stone balls Look at this. floating on water. And watch what Jacob can do. Look at this. This is harder than I remember. Oh yeah. It's slippery, that's the problem. Right. I've stopped it. Okay. And now and there it goes. And when I tell you, this is not a plastic ball. This is not a light ball. This is made of pure stone. But for some reason, this little layer of water allows it to float and be manipulated. So up front is this tricked out modified car. Covered entirely with crystals with an American flair. Yeah, if you're gonna put a uh, flag on your roof, I recommend you go with that one. Not that other General Lee one. Seriously, guys, who needs a Tesla when you could ride in this? Up here on the wall, this is really cool. It looks like they have an America all made out into kind of a flag with the stars and stripes using license plates, one from every state. And as we step in, just like at the Hollywood Museum, you're gonna see a King Kong right out front, but this one, made out of old recycled used tires. If you don't know this, Gatlinburg is a little bit famous for all of the bears here in the Smoky Mountains. Here we have featured the frying pan killer, apparently taking on this little black bear there. Now, if you've seen one of my Ripley's videos before, you know I'm a huge fan of mosaics. This mosaic is made out of peanuts. And when you back away, who do we have? Jennifer Lawrence. Looking good. We step off the elevator onto the third floor. Look at this. There's so much here. Check it out, by the way. I am uh, joined once again by my friend, Jacob the Carpetbagger. Jacob. They're killing me. They're gonna shrink my head. I wondered what I was gonna have for dinner. I guess we're getting Jacob's soup. And here we are once again. Almost every Ripley's has them. And this Ripley's is no exception. Believe it or not, here is a very rare item. This is a not just a shrunken head, but the shrunken torso as well creepy so apparently these are music instruments made from human body parts my favorite of which is of course the bone flute if you're a magic player you'll know the phrase twiddle your bone flute here we have what is basically an effigy of me i call this the million dollar god of good fortune in ancient tradition if you rub the belly of hotel the God of good fortune, he will grant you happiness and prosperity. So for this one's for you guys. Mmm. We're all millionaires today. Here we have some of the wax figures. This is Edward Hanger, the world's thinnest man. And right behind him, my good friend, Walter Hudson. I missed you in Branson, buddy, but I'm glad to see you here. Once again, I know I was very large. Walter had the beat. Good job, Walter. Short E dangerously, apparently missing the lower half of his body. And it looks like he's using a skateboard to get around. And he's not alone because here is Johnny Eck from Baltimore, Maryland, who's a man of many talents, an actor, an illusionist, a band leader, and even a train conductor. And he was born with no legs. And if you have difficulty believing it, well, don't worry. Because here he is, performing on camera for you. 
Now this is a little bit cruel, but uh, I wanted to show you this. This is the dating match booth. Here I am in Branson, and I want to get my perfect match. Who do you think I... Yeah. Yeah, that seems about right. And of course, here she is. In the wax. The vampire woman. The goth girl of our dreams. Call me. As always, it's such a pleasure to see him. This time in a much different outfit. Robert Wadlow, clocking in at almost nine feet tall. Every time I see him, I'm amazed. I finally found a way to lose the rest of the weight. Yay! Have contortionist boxes. So if you're a contortionist, uh, this is your opportunity to give it a shot. And uh, Jacob, what are you doing? Contorting. I don't think you're doing it right, man. Get in there. Get in there. Here, buddy, give, me, give me a little push. Jacob, I think you're still doing it wrong. Now look at this tiny young lady. Lucille Zerata, the smallest woman of all time. And Jacob, did you make a girlfriend? I'm married, don't tell my wife. You should be ashamed, Lucille. Something I would expect to see in maybe LA. But no, here it is, the Walking Dead zombie jacket and face mask. Look at that face mask. Face off. If you want to continue with the Walking Dead, there he is. Rick Grimes painted in barbecue sauce. Believe it or not. And here's another odd painting. This is an Elvis Presley painting made out of other Elvises. 600 Elvises, in fact. Yo, dog, I heard you liked Elvis, so I put Elvis in your Elvis. So you can Elvis. Why you Elvis? Around the pelvis. Always love these interactive rooms. Jacob, are you just gonna stand there or are you gonna dance? I gotta dance. Oh yeah! And I think that one's just broken. Whoa! It's trippy! Well, this sign confused me at first. Here's some rainbow shadows. These lights allow you to create rainbow shadows. Like this. Wow! That looks so cool in real life. I hope it looks half as cool on camera. Look at this, right here on the wall it says Moon Bible. Well, this is the Apollo 14th Lunar Bible in a Fabergé egg. That's right, that is a Bible on a microchip. And this particular microchip has been to space. At 600 pounds, 580. I was never gonna try this. But now that I've lost some weight, <laughs> maybe I should. Oh no! Oh. 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 <laughs> Instant regret. <laughs> I'm glad I did it, but that was instant regret. Bye right, guys, um, there's something else that you can find that's very rare, and that's a Boogie 2988 fan. Just met this young gentleman right here. It's probably the strangest oddity of them all in this entire museum. It's, it's only the teeth. It's only the teeth. Right, right, right. <laughs> Believe them? Or not. The only reason I keep ones anymore is for you, Zoltar. My name is Zoltar the Gypsy, and I have some words of wisdom to bring you much happiness. As you travel through this life, remember this. If you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. Go ahead and let Zoltar tell you more. We have definitely hit the creepy part of this Ripley's. Because here's an ancient Egyptian mummy from 2000 BC. And there is a mummified hand. Another figure. 
This is JT Sailors, who had the odd ability to be able to pull his bottom lip over his nose. These are many times. We did one very recently, but check out this awesome kaleidoscope room. Whoa. Take it through the thing and stop. Another mosaic, this one made out of spent shotgun shells. And who would that be? As we take a step back, no one other than Clint Eastwood himself. Another shooting gallery. This one, very different from the rest. You can see the moon shining equipment. Definitely has a Gatlinburg hillbilly fill. Another really cool recycled arch project. This one's bottle caps. Who does it make up? Of course, Michelle Obama. Looks just like her. This is my opportunity to find out what my true calling is by dropping in this. Well, there goes Trick Archer. Of course I'm a trick archer. That's what I'm already famous for. All my wonderful trickery I know, archery. That's, why, that's how I first heard you from all your right, trick archery right. videos. Another cool wax figure. This is the Hammerhead who is famous for using the front part of a skull to hammer nails into stuff like books, wood, and apparently even steel. Take a look at the entry lobby below, and you'll see this beautiful dragon. Now, I'm curious if we can capture this illusion at home, but as I walk by it, you'll see the pieces shift as we walk, and it's simply because of these raised and textured portions. I showed you guys this in Eureka Springs, similar, but look at this. A chunk of the Berlin Wall all the way here brought to Gallenberg. Mr. Gorbachev tore down that wall. I do love unusual art, and I, I gotta say, taxidermy has always been really fun for me. But this always just kind of creeps me out. But I think the most disgusting thing here is not any of that, but it's this. Sushi made of laundry lint. If you think, Gross. If you think that's disgusting, check this out over here. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Well, out of all the more unusual portraits you've ever seen, there's this one, made out of, uh, yeah, that stuff. Wow. We have some unusual dresses. This wedding dress made out of toilet paper. This prom style dress made out of post-it notes. And this, well, very scantily clad dress made out of uh, candy wrappers. I believe Starburst. And then just for good measure, a lamb made out of mop heads. You can see as we walk through here, there's a young lady standing here. And it's, oh, I'm sorry, did I, did I serve your picture? Oh, come on. Really? That's no fun. You know, I just realized something. What's that? When I saw you, Jacob, yeah. I tried to give you a hug and you wouldn't give me a hug? Why do you want a hug? It doesn't matter. I can get a hug right here. Look at this. Let's get a nice big bear hug. I'm gonna make you jealous. I'm gonna hug whoever's behind this door. Who is this? Oh my God! If he hugged me, I couldn't bear it. <laughs> now, we have seen plenty of animal oddities. Plenty of two-headed animals, but this is a first. A two-legged walking horse who only walked on his hind legs. Behind him, a genuine four-horned geep. And out of all the taxidermies, I, out of all the taxidermied items I've ever seen, this is my favorite. It's an English pub fox. He just looks so proper and prim. This is a little cool hands-on experiment where you can watch these balls float on the air. Until they do that, of course. For those who wanted to know what I'd look like taller, and for those who wanted to know what I'd look like, Way shorter. Now this is really cool. Check this out. There's Jacob 
And there's me, and as I lift you guys up into the sky, you become my torch, just like in real life. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. This is my fourth Ripley's, and I gotta say, since this place was damaged in the fire and they had to rebuild it, they rebuilt it well. Jacob, still your favorite? Still my favorite. I think it might be my favorite too. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. There's three other Ripley's videos you can watch here on the channel, plenty of other stuff too. Hit subscribe down below. While you're down there, hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again soon.